handcuffed in the classroom at seven years old. It's a story that made headlines years ago, but tonight the ordeal is still haunting one South Florida child. And now he's talking to us about what happened for the first time in a story you will see only here. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Jim Barry is off tonight. Children in handcuffs. He's breaking his silence as CBS four stations across the country uncover similar cases happening at alarming rates. This is a story CBS4 has been working for weeks. We've been requesting records and data from schools in Broward and Miami-Dade. Let's bring in CBS4's Joan Murray to show us the investigation that she's working on tonight and the mental scars left behind for a little boy. Joan? Well, Naja Elliott, I can tell you it is happening right here in South Florida, but the school districts are very aware of the impact it has on communities when a child is seen being taken away in handcuffs. But the arrest of a child and all the ramifications has led to change over the past few years, driven in part as so many things are here in South Florida by the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas tragedy in 2018. So tonight you are going to hear firsthand exclusively from a child who was handcuffed at a Miami public school back in early 2018. Alexander Fuentes has never spoken publicly before about what happened and what impact those handcuffs had on him until this very day. His parents say he suffered post-traumatic stress disorder from the handcuffing and being taken away in a school police car. Now this all began in a lunchroom with a worker telling him who he was a first grader at the time not to play with his food, things escalated. They told me that they're going to take me to their police cruiser and they're going to arrest me. I break my heart and, and say the police and the principal and everybody, hey, we don't do it. 11, you will hear more from Alexander Fuentes and his parents about the impact this arrest has had on all their lives and how the Miami-Dade County School District and Broward School District has been handling arrest of children since 2018. So much has changed after Parkland. We're going to explain how and why. Elliot, Naja. And Joan, you mentioned that Alexander has PTSD, which is completely understandable uh, from this incident. What other problems are children experiencing from getting arrested at school? Well, you know, especially for a very young child, this can be traumatic. So he suffered nightmares. And to this day, his parents say he is afraid of police officers. That's a very common reaction. Um, there's anxiety, other things. Some children have problems in school. Thankfully, he has been able to change schools and his life is going much better right now. But we're going to delve into all of that, the, the effects it has had at 11. And Joan, tell us more about how Alexander is doing today. Well, his parents transferred him to a private school. They tell me that it is very expensive, but they say it is worth it for him, for his peace of mind, and that he is doing very well. Um, he hasn't had any problems in the private school. You know, after this all happened and, and during COVID, he was homeschooled for a while, but then his parents put him in a private school. He's doing well, but he does live with the ramifications of what happened uh, that day. He still lives with it today. They told me he is still being treated for post-traumatic stress disorder with a therapist. Now, John, these arrests seem to be on the radar of the school districts in South Florida. What are they doing, uh, if anything, to reduce uh, these incidents, the number of these incidents? Yeah, and that was one of the things we were delving into, looking at the statistics from 2018, from the time this happened till today. And there has been a lot of dramatic change, believe it or not, uh, driven a little bit in part by the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas massacre. We're going to explain how that had an effect and exactly how schools have responded here in South Florida with more police presence, but also, especially in Broward County, a lot more understanding of very young children when they are taken into custody, you know, putting their cell, putting themselves in the minds of a child and how different that is from somebody who is over 18. Um, and so they have looked at that closely and they have done a lot to reduce numbers. It is still happening, not to say this problem has gone away, but they are making an attempt to make it 
uh, better for young children when they get into trouble in school. So uh, this, this uh, it, it is a very fascinating look at what's happened um, in Broward and Miami-Dade, and that will be all new at 11. I think every parent will want to watch this, Joan. Mm. Thank you very much. And once again, you can see Joan's story, Handcuffs and Hallways, tonight on CBS 4 News at 11. We'll take you inside the new number our investigation uncovered and show what's being done to lower the arrest rates right here in South Florida.